Mike Yanni, he's on location this morning uh, with a BT viewer who won a contest, and you guys are painting, Mike, and I see you have a little helper. That's right. This is Juno, Ted, and Juno is three years old. Now, Juno, did you think you'd be painting Nana's walls this morning? Yes. You did? Yeah, you knew the painters were coming, right? Is this fun? Yeah. yeah. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, she's been sanding, she's been painting, she's busy at work, so we're going to let her go back to work because she's doing a great job. Uh, Karen, or known as Nana, to, <laughs> to Juno. Um, it's pretty fun to have the family involved with this. Oh, it's very fun. It's awesome. And the guys are busy at work. They already painted a few of the walls. We're going to get a few tips. Now, they already schooled me on a few things. The first thing you do when you should paint a wall, we all know now, is... Sand. Sanding. I had no idea you were supposed to sand. I wish I'd known that a couple weeks ago when I painted my walls and did not sand. Justin with Wow One Day Painting. Sanding. Why is it so important to sand the walls? First of all, sanding helps uh, adhesion of the paint to the wall. So you're definitely going to get a better stick of the paint to your wall. It's going to stay on there better, and it's going to last a lot longer. So. Okay, so sand first, and then wipe, wipe down the wall, I guess, wipe after? Wipe down the dust off of the wall, absolutely, with a damp cloth after. Okay, Yeah. and you want to protect everything in the room. That's correct. So you want to, uh, what we like to do is we like to tape off the baseboards along the, uh, along the room so that when we're rolling, paint doesn't splatter down. Make sure that we poly uh, plastic off uh, and drop cloths all over the carpet so we don't damage that and any other furniture that they have because we don't want to get dust, paint, anything on there. So. Okay. It's a lot of people tape. Tape the ceiling. Um, you guys are professionals. You don't need to. Any word of caution on taping? Taping. Just be careful when you tape your ceiling, especially when you have a stipple ceiling. Uh, it could pull some of it down with it. Yeah. Now, you guys call it cutting in when you paint along the ceiling. You want to show us how to properly do that. Yeah. We're just going to grab the brush and we'll get Mario here to show us. So. Okay, so the brush. Where'd the br oh, there you go. Mario's got the brush okay. here. We're going to follow and see how to do this properly. So Mario's just going to start at one point lower than where he's at at the ceiling, and then he's going to just edge his way up to get a clean line across the ceiling. He makes it look really easy. Yeah, it's not I, that easy, but no, it's not very that easy. Good. <laughs> so he doesn't have to use the tape. And obviously this is faster if you can do it this way. That's right. It'll right. save you time for sure. And we're almost out of time here, but okay, so we showed cutting in. Now we want to show any roller technique quickly. Yeah, we'll show roller technique quickly, Mario. We're going to interrupt Mario there. So the roller's right there. Okay. How much paint should be loading on that roller? Uh, you're going to want to roll your roller in your paint first a bit and then run it along the edges just to get any excess paint off. Okay. Then what you're going to want to do is start about a roller length away and then work your way back but use the whole length of the wall whole so you don't length. get any runs or laps. Ah. That's what, uh, what happens to most is okay. you have a run down the wall so this will prevent that. All good tips this morning. Uh, as I said, I wish I would have learned this a couple weeks ago when I decided to take on the uh, task of painting my home. I only did two walls. I think I'm going to call a uh, wow one day painting and know to finish the rest. But coming up, we're going to be looking at some new paint trends this fall. And one I've never seen before you're going to watch. you want to watch this and see what that new trend is. All right, more with Mike Yanni still to come on the show. Also still to come, the Humane Society will be here. One of their regular visits, adorable adoptables looking for forever homes.